Tonight, uh, instead of me giving my uh, parish president's remark, I would like to, at this time, uh, introduce uh, Mr. Joe Dupree, the uh, COE of Southern Recycling. Uh, Mr. Dupree here is here tonight to make an exi exciting announcement about our economic development efforts. Mr. Dupree, would you uh, come to the podium, please? I, I thought this was going to go a little differently, but uh, I guess we're prepared. Uh, if you look behind you, there's uh, we're, we're I want to start with some some opening remarks. We're really excited that uh, we're coming to St. Charles Parish. I don't know if everybody's aware of this, but uh, through working with Coleman, uh, the, the Coleman's, uh, Corey Foshe with St. Charles Economic Development, Louisiana Economic Development, we have to have a deep river, I mean a deep water site that we have to relocate off the Mr. Go. And they all came to us with this piece of property that you guys are all familiar with in Kelowna. Uh, we just completed the acquisition Wednesday. Uh, and what, what you're going to see here is, is what we, we're uh, showing is our import-export hub for North America in EMR. Southern Recycling has been in New Orleans area for 108 years. We uh, haven't been excited to move and we're really excited that we're able to stay in the local area and are, are truly excited about this prospect. Uh, we had a lot of help from, as I said, economic development here uh, at the state level. The congressional delegation has been phenomenal. Uh, that includes both senators, uh, Congressman Melanson, Congressman Jindal at the time, now Governor Jindal, still supports this project. Uh, Congressman Alexander has, has committed uh, whatever he can do to do this for the good of Louisiana. Judge Chason in the Port of South Louisiana has also been very supportive. I met with uh, President uh, St. Uh, Pierre and also uh, Councilman uh, Raymond. And we just we're so excited about this. This is one of the few projects that it seems like everybody's really positive about. And we're, we're really looking forward to coming here. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure what to say other than maybe answer some questions. Or, Corey, you want to? Why don't you add something? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I didn't know who had gotten the press release or whatever. Uh, what we're talking about here is an operation that should rival what we've got in New Orleans now, uh, which is about 400 jobs. Uh, we do about 100 jobs direct and about 300 as direct subcontractors just from an area of expertise issue. Uh, we're looking at an initial investment of about $40 million, including the property. Uh, that should continue on and continue to grow. Now, what we don't know is how many of, that, how many of those jobs is going to come from New Orleans, but I would expect no more than about half, so it should be certainly a lot of job creation in St. Charles Parish, but it's 100% retention in Louisiana. Anything? Good idea. <laughs> Let me just add that we are certainly uh, excited, and we need to th uh, thank Mr. Dupree for his investment in St. St. Charles Parish, and we're looking for this to be a catalyst for, for further development, further deep water development uh in st charles parish and for their that entire st charles st john area you know we don't have a lot of uh vacant tracts of dry land left that are on the river uh but that's where most of them are is up near the st charles st john line so with with his investment with the improvements that he's going to make and ho hopefully with the port's uh, assistance uh on on the, the river we can expect to be this this to be the first of many more uh, announcements uh, to develop that, that deep water business park there. There's a very uh, attractive 91 acre parcel there along 31, uh, 41 in, in the tracks uh, that we feel is just prime for development. And again, uh, Joel and his, his staff and his team has been nothing but, uh, but positive about doing the things that we've asked them to do, both from trying to do as much business uh, locally to hiring those uh those folks that want to uh want to go to to go to work so again this is a big win for st charles parish for new orleans and for the state because uh, we were not in, in this alone they were also looking at sites outside of louisiana and outside of the region but um with with the work of the port and and, and from and 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 from the parish uh and from the state uh we were uh 
uh, we, we were able to make a strong enough case, and we feel that the site is, is a great site, if not one of the best sites on, on, on the river. So, again, uh, we're looking for some great things, and uh, thank you. And we didn't really have time for a lot of questions, but if anyone has any comments or questions, um, we can make one or two. And then uh, any other things you need, you, you know where to reach Joel. I have all of his contact information. And I, and I know the uh, parish president also has some remarks to say in closing. Thanks, yeah, I just want to thank uh, Mr. Dupree for bringing this very exciting company to our, our parish. Uh, you know, it's, it's part of our vision to develop a world-class port where we can uh, offer rail, uh, deep water facilities, and also the Mississippi River. And Judge, this is a prime, prime opportunity for the port to jump in with us and uh, give us a helping hand and develop some money, spend some money in St. Charles Parish. And that guy sitting right next to you, you need to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Mr. Uh, Dupree, anything we can do to assist you in making your transition easy, be, don't be afraid to call on us. I appreciate you. it. You've made me feel very welcome. And our, we're really looking forward to getting here and really excited about getting this project going and going quickly. Thank you. Councilman Hogan. Uh, can you explain the type of activities that's going to happen on the river and what's going to happen on the other side? Well, it, it, this is full range metal recycling, all the way from aluminum cans from housewives that collect aluminum cans to deep water marine demolition, which is, uh, in fact, this could this could actually be bigger than I, than I'm hedging my bets a little bit because uh, with what's going on in 2010 with single hull tankers that need to come out of out of service and whatnot, that would happen on the batcher side. Uh, obviously, with with the way that property set up, it's nothing anybody would ever really see. But it's certainly a lot of business. Uh, on the dry side, we we're anticipating putting in a mega shredder, which would make this the largest recycling facility in the South, not just the Gulf. Uh, and again, if everything goes the way we want it to, we may have hedged our bets a little bit on what our investment will be, as well as job creation. Uh, I, Corey did want me to point out, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm invoking your name here, Corey. The environmental impact of this is minimal, if any. In fact, this should be an improvement in environment just because we'll be able to, to handle, we're required to handle all the water that goes over, over all these processes. So I think we have the one small, small permit from DEQ, but that's it. Councilman Raymond. Yes, I, I had a chance to meet to meet with them also and talk about some of the things that I would like to see. It's in my district, and we did specifically talk about the the jobs and whatnot. And they they did agree to uh, you know to look at at getting some jobs locally for the for the residents up that way. It, it, and it's our it's got to be our primary source. We we have to be a part of the community. We don't know how to operate any other way. Other questions, Mr. Dupree? Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.